What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Welcome back guys and first of all thank you um, for subscribing because we've got a lot of, a lot of new members here. We, we, we need a name guys, we need a name. We need a name for us. Someone, someone commented down flowers, flowers. Sounds not that bad, in my opinion. But what else can we do like with flow, FLO. Comment something down below, guys. Comment something down below. How should we call us? I don't know. Okay, so today we have the explanation video for the shadow trailer. And I'm really excited for that because as I was seeing it, I already I already knew I, I, I needed an explanation video, guys. Um, I figured something out on my own um, and like I, I obviously listened to it a lot since it came out and I've read the lyrics a couple times, but still there were some messages I didn't really get and um, I've been on Twitter a bit, seen some stuff, but um, an explanation video is always the best way for finding everything out. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Also, it, it is from Celesti, so uh, it is a good one, I believe. Let's jump right into it, guys. And don't forget, don't forget, 24 hours aren't over yet, so stream, guys, stream shadow. Thank you. What's up, Flare Squad? Welcome back to my channel and to another theory Welcome. slash explanation video. This time we're gonna go over Suga's interlude, Shadow. Now there were so many symbolic scenes. It was all an interlude, guys. Remember that, like, that was so damn good. Deep meaning lyrics, so let's get started. Okay. We're first introduced to a sinister scene with Suga in the middle and these hooded figures facing a door of what looks like a hotel. And you could see... I believe, like, this could al already be, um, like, I don't know, an image of Sasangs? Could be. That is what I thought, like, after watching it a couple times. That they are waiting in front of their hotel doors or something. I don't know. The exit sign above Suga as if he's trying to leave that area. Now this okay. could represent how they feel when they're at hotels. It seems as if someone yeah, sure. is yeah. always outside their door yeah. waiting for them. Now yeah. when you put it that way, yeah, that is creepy. Yeah, someone mentioned that this doorway behind Suga looked really familiar and they could be linked yeah, to Anish Kapoor Svaya. Svayam is a Sanskrit word meaning something that is created, created out, of, out itself. of itself. So the block of wax squeezes through the door frame and leaves some of itself behind. It's as if it's skidding itself as it goes through oh. the door, Kapoor said. If they were trying to reference this, it could represent how the members are losing a bit of themselves as they go through everything as celebrities. Shards of the yeah. mirror comes together to reveal another sugar on the other side, but this time wearing lighter colored clothes. The mirror is showing us another side of him, which could represent the past him as he repeats. I wanna be reft. I wanna be the tongue. I wanna be rocked. And now he is. And now he is. These were things he wanted before BTS grew, as they were big dreams to him. And he wondered every day true. how far he would yeah, go. Yeah, true. You can see him run across the hall and into the stage and limelight that Shiga is currently in. He noticed the shadows under his feet become bigger and even tried to run away from it. He didn't realize how lonely it would be and that his leap could also be his fall. Now, yeah. these lyrics were really deep and expressive. Yeah, this really, like... Suga always has, like, really good lyrics. I love reading his lyrics. And, um... Those were on a different level, in my opinion. This is how Suga truly feels right now. He accomplished all his big dreams, but has now realized how scary and lonely it is. Yeah. You'll yeah. see all the hooded... That scene. That scene. I I've seen it on Twitter also. That was like... Has now... I, I don't know. Maybe she was... Realized if not, how I will scary explain and lonely I, it saw. is. You'll see all the hooded figures run towards a door to get through. And Shika says, I run, but the shadows follow. Now the shadow he's talking. Okay, so on Twitter there was a clip from Fake Love where like Hobie was holding the door and it f it like it was perfect, like it matched perfectly. Thing about refers to Jungarian psychology and it's in the book that they've referenced called Jung's Map of the Soul. The oh. shadow is an unconscious aspect of the personality, which the conscious ego yeah. does not identify yeah, I, I, itself. Yeah, I had that in school. I had that it in school. It is the collection of repressed aspects of our identity. 
Now, Jung believed that in order to truly grow as a person, one must see such willful blindness to one's shadow and attempt to balance it with the persona. Once we become more aware of these dark aspects of ourselves, we must honor them and find a way to integrate yeah. them into our yeah. life. In failing to do so, one will become weak and scattered. One cannot serve two inner drives without dissipating his strength and energies. The shadow True. must become part of one's conscious personality. Yeah, you have to accept every single bit of yourself, even if you don't like that side. You have to accept it because it is a part of you. You have to accept you. You have to love yourself. That is the overall message. So you see them break through and start running towards Shiga. This scene itself looks like a horror zombie movie of some that type. So good. And a shadow swallows him up and turns him into a monster. This scene represents the stage, and of course, the people with the phones recording and taking pictures could represent the fans. Now, he's speaking okay, out yeah. about fear by saying, Don't let me shine. As he flies higher and closer to the light, the shadow grows bigger. So for example, if you're lying against the floor, your shadow is smaller, but as you get closer to the light, it will you cast a bigger, bigger shadow bigger. behind you. And the light represents fame in the song. You'll notice yeah. the sketches that pop yeah. up, and guess what? They're not random sketches. True, true. They're from the comeback trailer of Are You Late 2. And the instrumentals... Oh. oh no, that is too deep for a baby army. That is too deep for a baby army, guys. Not the last forever. I haven't heard that yet. Oh no, I haven't you heard that yet. Only live once. I don't want to hear it. Sound familiar? I All of a sudden, instrumentals in the song switches up and Shiga's voice gets rusty and deeper. This is the shadow speaking to him, saying, I am you, you are me, yeah, and now yeah. he knows. I figured that out in my They'll clash already. within the single body and he could never detach from his shadow. Yeah. So the shadow is trying to get him to accept him. Yes. And now this scene could either represent himself, Min Yoongi in the crowd and his BTS persona, Suga on stage, or the person in the crowd could be his shadow. I mean, it does seem like it is his shadow in the crowd. Now, there are a couple of scenes that remind me of RM's persona music video, such as the mirrors, which represent personas and all the different- I also haven't seen that yet. I have so much to catch up on, guys, but I'm trying really hard. Four videos a day, four videos a day. Masks they were. And then there's the stage, which represents their stage identities. Mm. So the song and music video represents the shadow, their fear, and them realizing they need to accept it. Yeah. And it is pretty sad to hear, but this is how they truly feel. And it is their way to express how they feel by using lyrics and visuals to tell us the story. And this was an amazing music video and loved the lyrics. Yeah. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button and also join the Flare Squad by subscribing, I you guys. I did already Thanks both. for watching. That was really good. That was a great explanation video. I believe um, most of us already like figured some stuff out, but it was great to see like um, from a third perspective, like to see all those points and dots connected together. Uh, maybe there's even more something hidden that we will figure out um, in the next couple of days or weeks till the release um, when the other trailers are dropping so um, that was still pretty informative and pretty good um, yeah as she said the lyrics were like the highlight on the trailer obviously and um, they hit really hard like when you think about it how they're really feeling how he's really feeling at least I don't know I believe not not many people are are um, are looking at fame or celebrities in that way that um, Sugar described it. Like, it is not just the bright side, the good life. I believe it is more, more struggle and more like, I don't know. There are more hard times than easy times when you're a celebrity. At least when, when you're an idol, at least. At least when you're an idol. Like, more money, more problems. And that is true, I believe. So, um, yeah. That was a good explanation. I like, as I said, I like the channel a lot. Um, and, yeah. We'll check out more, guys. And, yeah. 
I'm really excited to get into into more stuff, guys. I don't know. Such a good journey. So many new people here. And uh, thank you for being part of this journey. So, um, yeah, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to smile today. Have a wonderful, beautiful and bright day. See you soon with the next one. And...